Namo Se Ka Lan La Alaha Nao Yahawa Pashim Yahaw Shah Pashim Raka Kodash Dabana to my other apostle Great Millstone Rue Well and Teach Well Citation Rich for Brothers Pushing His Truth Where the City Rich Can Life Do So In the Spirit of Power Yahaw Pashim Yahaw Shai Shalom It's the Brother Kwan from the Great Millstone Dallas Camp Coming at you with another lesson tonight, man. All right. I just want to uh, I want to do this lesson, man. You know, this lesson is, was inspired by the uh, by the priest Palal's dream that he had uh, a couple of days ago, and uh, you can check it out at uh, Grand Millstone, at, well at GMS Watchman on YouTube. That's the uh, that's the channel's name. I'll put the link in the description for any bros that want to go and listen to that, man. You know, that beautiful, beautiful uh, vision that the Lord had given to him, you know, uh, of the kingdom, you know, of the Israelites, man, that's going to be here on the earth, according to Matthew 6 chapter, man. You know, yeah, who the world in the calls God, which his true name is Yahweh, and uh, the world, who the world in the calls Jesus Christ, which his true name to be. Is who you see right here, or a depiction of whom you see right here, arrayed in a uh, this green garment, all right, standing in front of all his people, man. His name is Yahweh Shai, man, and that's the true he uh, biblical Paleo Hebrew names of who the word only called God and Jesus Christ, all right, which is Yahweh being the Most High and Yahweh Shai being His only begotten Son, whom the world only calls Jesus Christ, all right. And with that being said. Those, those are the those are the powers of all creation that you of of what you see and what you don't see, all right, and they have a particular nation of people on the earth that they love above all people on the earth, man, and all the people, the rest of the people of the earth, you know, aside from the people, the nation that the uh, heavenly Father and the, and the Son love are on to, are likened onto a drop of a bucket or a spittle onto them. Meaning that the other nations don't matter, all right? But you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, you are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, all right? And the Heavenly Father and His Son love you and love you only. And it's and it's up to you, all right, to hear this message, you know, of like me and unto myself that preach these words and this true doctrine of the Scriptures, man, unto you to repent unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai before the Heavenly Father. Since his son Yahweh Shai to destroy this destroy this uh current system that we are in, man. Alright? The earth itself will not be destroyed completely. But the surface of certain parts of the world will be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire and by uh the way of uh the chariots of Israel, man. What Esau Edom, or which is a self proclaimed white man, and Esau Edom is a, a nation, a particular nation within the Bible that is set up to do complete and utter wickedness on the earth, man. Okay? And that's currently what the self proclaimed white man is doing. And the earth has been given into his hands to do such. Alright? So, before, you know, that happens, you know, before the Lord destroys this place, it would uh, behoove you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, why you still have time to do so, to repent and come back to Yahweh Bashim Shai before he just completely destroys this place. Because he, with the Lord, as it is written in the scriptures, the Lord will kill two-thirds of his people on this side, man, because they will continue to be wicked, and they will not adhere un un to this doctrine that's being preached right now, man. So with that being said, let's hop right into this lesson. All right. This is a, it's really a faith booster lesson, man, if you will. You know, I'm just going to go over, you know, the spiritual, the spiritual bodies, man, what we're going to receive, the gift that we're going to receive from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's hands, man, for being, you know, faithful unto him until the end. All right. These are the things that's coming for the for the for the one third first of the nation of Israel, because the, the one third of the nation of Israel will be saved on this side, but two thirds will die on this side, and they will have to come back through the one third of the nation of Israel's loins, man. All right. So let's get my first precept. This is Philippians chapter three and verse twenty. For our conversation is in heaven. 
For whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right, it says our conversation is heaven, is in heaven. All right, our mindset is in heaven. Our, our mind is within these scriptures, and you know, our our mind is focused on on things to come. All right, we're not worried about you know the things on this side, because like I just said, you know, according to the scriptures, of course, that this setup that we're currently living in is going to be destroyed. Because it's being ruled by the wicked of uh, of the earth, and it, and nothing is the only thing that's being pushed out in this earth is wickedness, man. All right, none of none of the heavenly Father's ways are being pushed out in the earth. And the only ones that's even trying is currently the the uh, the uh, hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, man. That's even trying to to be, you know, uh. <clears throat> That's what, what's the word I'm looking for? That's even putting forth an effort, you know, to please the heavenly Father, man. Okay. You know, and no one, no, no one else is doing this thing, like we are doing it, man. Verse twenty one, for we shall change our vile body. <laughs> All right. Why does it say our vile body? Because this, this, this flesh, that our that our spirit is currently contained in. It's, it's, it's not it's not acceptable to Yah Bashim Yah Shai, man. All right. According to Jude one and six, these are these are chains of darkness or death, man. Okay. They decay, they get old, they get sick, you know, and, and we die. So so th these bodies can't inherit the kingdom of the most high, man. You know, we we would we would we would continue to go off. This is that's what makes us go off. Is this is this wicked flesh that we're currently in. All right, so let's continue. Let's just read verse twenty-one. We shall change our who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. All right, Yahweh Shai and the angels, they have a glorious body. All right, Yahweh Himself, He has a body like unto no other. All right, because He's the Most High. But Yahweh Shai and the angels. They have a, a a type of body that's uh that's that's that doesn't go off from the ways of the heavenly Father. They have a, a a righteous body, okay, a body that can't sin, you know. So, as it is written right here in the twenty fifth verse of uh, chapter three in Philippians, okay, when the Lord returns, He's gonna give uh new bodies unto the uh the elect. Of the nation of Israel, man. Okay, let's continue. According to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. All right. A hey, Yahweh Shai, he he got victory over all things when he died on that cross, man, and rose again. Cause that was that was his lot to come as himself and to die for his own sins. All right. And died for the nation of Israel's sins. Okay. And he conquered. He conquered everything. All things. By the way of doing so. Because he, cause he walked in this wicked flesh. Perfect. And you would ask. You asked me then. You know. You would ask the question of. Well. If he walked perfectly in this wicked flesh. Then how did he sin? You know. That's where reincarnation comes into. And reincarnation is a biblical thing. All right. Yahweh Shai came as many, if you will, characters in this movie that the Most High has set up. All right. He came as Adam. He came as Isaac. He came as Yahweh. He came as uh, as Solomon. All right. Those are uh, a few of his reincarnations. All right. That he came. He came as. But he messed up. In those re in those carnations of himself, he had messed up. He didn't get it right. But when he had finally came as himself, as Yahweh Shai, all right, which his name is a omen nomen, he is the deliverer, all right. He when he came as himself, he walked perfect, but he still had to die for his past sins that he committed in his other lives, all right. <clears throat> and 
And I'm going to prove that Yah was shy. It was also Adam. But the next uh, precept I'm going to get is uh, it's in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 20. Brethren, be not children in understanding. How bit in malice be ye children, but in understanding be ye men. All right. Lord tells you what to put off that old man. Okay. That's, that means to change your ways. You know, to come back, to, to, to repent, to return back onto the ways of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And what are the ways of the Heavenly Father and His Son? They're, they're within His scriptures, man. Okay? The Heavenly Father's word is, is, is these scriptures that you see before you. All right? And, and who and who's the word? The word is another name for our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right? He is the living, breathing. <laughs> Being of the of of the word of the heavenly Father, man. Okay. Let's continue. In the law, it is written with men of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto this people, and yet for all that will they not hear me, saith the Lord. Wherefore tongues? Let me see. Salakia. Oh. I'm just reading the wrong, wrong chapter, Salak. <laughs> this is uh, verse 20, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 20. But now is Hamashiach, all right, or the anointed, risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. <laughs> For since by man came death, by man came also the, re the resurrection of the dead for as in Adam for as in Adam all die even so in Hamashiach shall all be made alive so that's verse 22 for as in Adam all die why is that and what is that all talking about it's talk they're all just talking about the nation of Israel man the sons of God which is what they were called during the time of Genesis, all right, before uh, Jacob received the name of Israel, man, okay, how did they, how did they all, how did we all die through Adam? Because, you know, through Eve being beguiled by the serpent, she came and she spoke those different philosophies, all right, onto Adam, and Adam followed in behind Eve, and those philosophies that, that he was being taught by Eve, man. And with that being so, you know, that was a sin against the Heavenly Father. Because that was the first commandment, man. All right. There shall be no other gods before me. Thus said the Lord. So with Adam breaking basically the first commandment. All right. And it's, and it's also written in the scriptures. If you break one commandment, you broke them all. All right. And with breaking the commandments... That leads to death. So let's continue. Even so, in Hamashiach shall all be made alive. All right. Why is that? Because Yahweh came as himself and he corrected all the mistakes that he had ever made, man, by coming back down here in the flesh as himself. All right. And, and never and never sinning. In being a perfect, acceptable sacrifice for the whole nation of Israel, man. And it's, it was acceptable for the Most High, man. Okay. Verse 23. But every man in his own order, Hamashiach, the first fruits. Afterward, the anointed, the first fruits. Afterward, they that are Hamashiachs at his coming. All right, that anointed is talking about first and foremost one hundred and forty and four thousand, okay, which is the uh, government body of the nation of Israel, and they belong to Hamashiach. All right, they belong to Yahweh Shai. Why? Because they were given onto Yahweh Shai by his heavenly Father, man. All right, and in, and the Lord goes into that in John seventeenth chapter twenty. This is the twenty fourth verse. Then cometh the end 
when he shall have delivered up the king, the kingdom to the Most High, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power, for he, for he must reign till he have put all enemies under his feet. All right, that's Psalms uh one ten and Psalms uh second chapter man. Oh, uh, let's matter of fact, let's get that because our people. A lot of people, these Christians mainly, believe that that our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai is a, a lovey dovey, you know. Uh, I don't even want to say that word, but you know they think the Lord is gonna come back, you know, with handshakes and, and hugs, man, and lollipops, you know, and that's 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 not true, man. You know, it says in Luke's nineteenth chapter that the Lord. Is an austere man, all right? And the word austere means a strict or a mean person, man. <laughs> and the Lord is a, it, it can be a very mean person, you know, if you push him to that point. But yeah, the Lord is a is an austere man, all right? He's very strict and he means what he says when he says it. This is um, Psalms 2 and verse 7. I will declare the decree Yahweh has said unto me. And he is talking to, to Yahweh Shai, but this is a psalm of David. Thou art my son. See, his son is capitalized. So this is talking about who? This is talking about Yahweh Shai, man. So these uh only testament dummies, you you don't even make sense, man. Because Yahweh Shai is written throughout all the scriptures. This day have I begotten thee. All right. Yahweh spoke the help the uh Yahweh Shai into existence, man. Okay. Ask of me. And I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. It said the heathen, all right? Which you go back to Genesis. Those were the sons of men, all right? Which are the uh, heathen nations. These are uh, middle verse 8. And the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession, all right? Everything in heaven and under heaven is going to belong to Yahweh Shai, man. Because the heavenly father... Has given it to his his only begotten son for an inheritance, man. All right. Verse nine, thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Come on, man. The Lord say the, the heavenly Father said Yahweh Shai is gonna dash these heathen nations into pieces like a potter's vessel, man. All right. You've seen a va a vase break. On the ground, and the Lord says He's gonna He's gonna knock them over the head with a rod of iron, man. Meaning these people are gonna be that represents slavery, okay? That represents harsh slavery, and the heathen will endure that slavery for a thousand years, that harsh bondage for a thousand years. Thus says Revelations 20th chapter. Now, why are they gonna wreck? Uh, why are they gonna receive that harsh punishment for a thousand years? Because these heathen nations have been tossing the nation of Israel Israel around like a hoe for thousands of years, man. All right. We have went through captivity after captivity after captivity under these heathen nations, man. All the nations has gotten gotten a, a, a round in, if you will, on the nation of Israel. All right. The Babylonian captivity. The Syrian captivity, the Persian and the Media captivity, the Greek Greek captivity, the Roman captivity, hell, the the, the captivity that we in right now, the last beast, all right, the uh the American NATO in the NATO EU captivity that we're currently living in right now, all right. We've all we've hey, we've been passed around by these heathen nations, man, and that's why Yahweh Bashim Shai is gonna come as he come, man, and he's gonna kill two thirds of his people. Because they refuse to turn back. They want to continue to be like the heathen, man. And the Lord told us, hey, learn not the ways of the heathen. All right. Don't follow after their ways, the ways they do. Don't don't worship their gods, man. All right. And Jesus Christ, that nigga, all right, that's a God of the heathen, man. That's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, man. That's blasphemy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, that. Hey, the heavenly father and his son does not have leprous skin, bro. That's a curse. And you saying that the heavenly father and his son look like that 
with spitting in the face of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. And the Lord going to kill niggas for that, man. Verse 10. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. All right? The Lord is talking about the Israelites, man. We the judges of the earth. Serve Yahweh with fear and rejoice with trembling. All right? Kiss the son, lest he be angry. And ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. All right? Hey, let me hey, kiss the sun. Worship the sun, man. All right. Worship Yahweh by Shimei Hawasha. At least they be angry, man. Continue to follow in these ways. At least the Heavenly Father and His Son, Son's wrath be kindled against you, man. And hey, and best believe the Heavenly Father's, Heavenly Father and the Son's wrath has been kindled against His people, man. Look at us, bro. Look at us. Look, look at, look at the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans today, man. All we do is rape, rob, and murder each other, man. And it's and it's fucking despicable, bro. It is the it is fucking disgusting. The way that we treat each other, man. And the way that Yahweh Bashim Shai is coming back to deal with two thirds of his people, man, is justified. Cause his people is fucking wicked, man. So you have to, the best remedy for two-thirds of his people is to be put to death and to be reborn in the kingdom, man. That way they can come back in the right mind and they can live forever in peace, okay? That's, that's, that's what the Lord has for you, for his people, man. Let's jump back to uh, 1 Corinthians 15. I believe I was in uh, verse 26. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. All right? For he hath put all things under his feet. Who is this, who is this he? He's talking about you. How I? But when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is exempted, that if he is accepted, which did put all things under him. All right? Let's get that. Um. Yeah, this lesson is going to be pretty long, but it is what it is. Um. Let's get that. Um, what do I want to get next? Yeah, let's just get this in the uh, in the latter end of this chapter. Mm, I'm gonna just get right to the point. Actually, shit, I'm gonna start at forty five. It is what it is. I ain't got nothing else to do. This First Corinthians chapter fifteen and verse forty five, and so it is written: the first man, Adam. Which I'm going to prove in a minute that uh, Yahushua was Adam. And so it is written that the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. All right. He was a man of the flesh. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. He was given a, a, bi a body. All right. That cannot sin and or die. All right. So that quickening spirit is going to get explained through the through the rest of the chapter. Verse 46. How bit that was not first, which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. All right? Right now we have to bear this earthly vessel, man. Okay? We have to bear the humility in this earthly vessel. Before we can get glorified as as a Lord, man, as a king, all right, from heaven, all right? And right now we're bearing, bearing the humility within this earthen vessel, within this, this wicked flesh that we're currently we're currently in. But soon, you know, Yahweh Yahweh is going to deliver his people from the four corners of the earth via by the way of the chariots whom the world only calls UFOs. All right, which is the technology that the angels ride around in, man. Okay, and they're gonna deliver the nation of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel, from from whom the Lord will command to deliver. You know, and the last trump as nuclear destruction is going on simultaneously throughout the earth, man. All right, verse forty-eight, as as is the earthy. Such are they also that are earthy. 
and as it is heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. All right. For a mortal is a mortal, and a and a and an angel like being. All right. Is a is a is in an angelic body, man. All right. They are the a. Hey, you have a mortal. And you have an an immortal. That's what it's going is it's currently going into. Verse forty nine. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood, all right, <laughs> flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither doeth corruption inherit corruption, incorruption, all right? So that goes to show you what? The flesh and blood that we currently live in is corruption. Not our spirit. Our spirit is 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 a is a flame and fire, man. Okay, it's nothing wrong with our spirit. It's something wrong with our flesh. So the Lord is gonna change that flesh into a, a into an immortal type of flesh, man, that can't sin. Let's continue. Verse forty one. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. But we shall all be changed. All right. Who is that all talking about? It's talking about the nation of Israel, man. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. All right. For the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. All right. That dead and what? The dead in a mashiach, man. Shall be raised up first. Was that First Thessalonians 4 and 16, I believe? All right, those ones that die in in Hamashiach, for the words you know, of Hamashiach, which is the scriptures, man. Okay, because it's gonna come a time that we're currently in that Esau Edom is gonna come down with great wrath, and he's gonna take a decent amount of the men of the Lord that's pushing this truth and this doctrine. All right, this which is the hundred percent truth of the scriptures, and he's gonna put them to death, man. All right, and those ones that die. You know, keeping this word onto death is going to be raised up first and get those new bodies first. Let's continue. Verse 53. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality, man. Those new bodies we're going to receive from the Lord is going to be immortal. Verse 54. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on in mortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory all right oh death actually i'm gonna stop right there and then i'm gonna jump to luke real quick because it's something it's a point that i also want to i want to make on that as well let's jump to luke three in verse 38, this is going into the lineage, all right, of of Joseph, all right? And Joseph was what? Joseph was the son of Yahweh Shai, man. And we all, we well, if you know, don't know, well, I'm going to tell you, the lineage of a, of a, of a, of a son and or daughter determines, it's, it's all determined by the father, man, because the father has the seed, Okay. Not the mother. So there's no such thing as Esau will put it in the world today that if like let's say me myself, I'm a I'm a I'm a Judite, okay, if you will. Or a self proclaimed black man. So if I myself was to get wood, let's say uh um I don't wanna say no Edomite on yeah. Let's say uh a Chinese woman, okay. If I was to get with a Chinese woman and we were to have a son and or daughter, and those those not son and daughters would be uh Judites, man. They wouldn't be, you no know, half black, half Chinese, or they wouldn't be no half Judite, half Moabite, which Moab is the uh biblical name for Chinese people, which is the true name for them. Alright. Chinese is what Esau Edom put on them. Alright. They wouldn't be no half breeds, man. There's no such thing, okay? You either you you determine you are your lineage is determined by your father, okay? 
and Joseph was of the uh, the line and lineage of David. Okay. And David's line goes all the way back to the to Adam. Okay. So let's get this. I'm just going to hit right to the point. Luke three and thirty eight, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam and who is Adam which was the son of God man he was the son of the most high he wasn't a son of the most high it says which was the son of the most high the meaning the one and only alright the depiction of the man that you see before you in arrayed in green apparel man he is the son of the Most High. All right? And Adam was the son of the Most High. The Heavenly Father just made him go off. All right? Because as it's written in the scripture, it had to be a falling away first. We had to earn this thing that we're finna come into, man. We had to earn the kingdom, bro. We had to learn the ways of evil and good, man. That's how you know how to become a proper judge. All right. Let's uh jump back to uh First Corinthians fifteen chapter, because there's something else I want to get out of that. Matter of fact, it's actually another precept I want to get in Second Edris. So I'm gonna get it. Then I'm gonna jump back to First Corinthians fifteen. So lock it. This is a uh, Second Edris. And this is the Apocrypha, which is the Old Testament, by the way. This is the 1611 King James Version Bible. This is 2nd Edris, chapter 6, and verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And that's not talking about the heathen. It's not talking about the sons of the wicked. Now talking about the sons of men, all right. And the people also why hey, now why now why look, watch this man. That statement I just stated is backed up by scripture. And the people also whom thou hast chosen, man. All right. The hey, it says whom whom the Lord have chosen, man. Okay. He who did who did the Lord choose to be? Choose to be uh the nation above all of the people of the earth. The nation of Israel, man. That's the only nation the Heavenly Father has ever de dealt with. That's the nation the Lord has, is ever going to deal with. Alright? On a one-on-one -on -one level. So let's get that. Since that point has been proven, let's hop back to, uh, to this verse right here. This is, um, so verse, what's I at? 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 54. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, this mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. All right? But thanks be to the Most High, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. All right. With that being said, what? Let's reread verse 56. The sting of death is sin. All right. And the strength of sin is the law. All right. So when you sin, you receive death. All right. To stop you from sinning, keep the law. All right. And as we know, you can, we can't keep the law. In this flesh, man. Even when we was a sovereign nation, all right, we still couldn't keep the law. All right. So how much more now when we're in captivity? We definitely can't keep the law. That's why you how I had to die for us, man. In this time that we currently in, okay? Because we was gonna make so many mistakes in the flesh that if Yahweh didn't come and sacrifice for the nation of Israel, none of this would be. No, none of this would be possible that I'm speaking on to you right now, man. All right. 
So let's get um, Hebrews real quick. Hebrews um, chapter... Um, I'm going to start at verse 6. Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 6. But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the min the mediator of a better covenant. Who is this he they talking about? Talking about Yahweh Shai, man. All right. He is the high priest up there in the heavens, you know, talking with the most high about the elect of the nation of Israel, man. He is that mediator, man. Okay. He was our way back to the heavenly father. That's what he came to do. He came to be set up as that, that perfect, blameless, all right, high priest, mediator for the nation of Israel, man. Yahweh Shai is that way back onto the heavenly father, you know. During the time of Moses, us doing our, uh, Moses was, was that mediator, man, all right. But it wasn't perfect because the nation of Israel still sinned, man. And we had to, you know, offer up sacrifices, you know, things of that nature and, and for, for for our sins, man. Okay, but with Yahweh Shai, we have been established a better covenant that's upon better promises. So let's continue to read. Middle of verse 6. He is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. For if that first covenant had been found faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. Now, was there anything wrong with the second with the with the first covenant? Was there anything wrong with the laws? No. Only thing that was wrong was the nation of Israel, man. The flesh that we are in. That's what was wrong with the with the, with with uh with the first covenant, man. It was the people, not the laws. All right. No place. Oh, verse eight, for finding fault with them. All right, that's, that goes to clear up what I just said. For finding fault with them, not the law. He said, "Behold, the days come," said the Lord, "when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, the northern tribe, you so-called uh, Latinos and Native Americans, man, and with the house of Judah. All right, you so-called Negroes, man, you so-called Negroes, Jamaican and Haitians." He's gonna he more he's gonna make a new covenant. This has not happened yet. This is future prophecy. All right, this new covenant has not yet been established, because what we read in First Corinthians fifteenth chapter, when we first receive those new bodies, that's gonna be the first stage of establishing in that new covenant with us, man. Okay, let's continue. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, I regarded them not, said the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord. Now, of course, it's talking about Israel as a whole. I will put my laws into their mind. And write them in their hearts. I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. All right. The Lord said He's gonna write them into our minds, man. That First Corinthians fifteen chapter goes right along with this, man. So when we receive those new bodies, those spiritual bodies, those bodies that can't go against the law of the heavenly Father. Why? Because our law, the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be written into those bodies, man, to never go off from the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. In other words, we're going to be made perfect. All right? Verse 11. This goes to show you that we're going to be made perfect because we're not going to teach each other anymore. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Even from the greatest to the least in the in the kingdom. All right. All shall know Yahweh by Shemi Shai. Okay? And by know, that means that we're all going to walk in the ways of the Heavenly Father, man. 
We all going to walk to the tune of the Heavenly Father perfectly. It's impossible. It's going to be impossible for us to ever go off again. We're going to live forever and we're going to rule forever. All right? For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. All right? The Lord is going to forgive us for our sins. All right? That we committed against him in, in all this time that we've been here on this earth, man. And we're going to be made perfect before Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, that's that's this is this is what the Heavenly Father has for you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. But you receiving not um, Ezekiel chapter thirty-six in verse eight. But ye, O mountains of Israel, ye shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people of Israel. For they are at hand to come. For behold, I am for you. I will turn unto you, and ye shall be tilted and sown. And I will multiply men upon you. All the houses, all the house of Israel, even all of it, in the city shall be inhabited, in the wastes shall be builded. All right, the nation of Israel, as even as a people. Is a waste, man. Our people are desolate right now, man. Our people don't know a way from right to wrong. Okay? They don't know their power, man. But soon, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is gonna is gonna show himself unto his people. And right now, right now, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is showing himself unto his people. He got his men on those highways and byways making these these videos like I'm making right now. To tell you people to turn back to your high about Shem Shai, repent before that great and notable day of the Lord come, man. Alright, because you don't want to be <laughs> you don't want to be no two third, man. The Lord is not the Lord is not like men. The Lord is not gonna be merciful unto you if you've already told you to do something and you continue not to do it, man. He gonna kill your ass, man. Verse eleven. And I will multiply, and I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit. I will settle you after your old estates, all right, <laughs> and will do better unto you than at your beginnings, all right. During the time of Genesis, man, we all we knew was good. We was, you know, we was, we would, we was perfect, but now. We coming into a time where we where we're where we're better better established within our minds, man, and we gonna be as, as better established spiritually, and we gonna be better established physically, man. Thus said the Lord, and that's what He's saying right here in this verse. It will do better unto you than than at your beginnings, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. I'm gonna jump to verse twenty one. But I had pity for mine holy name. Right. Let me get some water real quick. And this is why, this is ultimately why the How about Shemiah was trying to doing it, man. Because he had pity on his name, bro. And what you, what would you ask? What you mean he had pity on his name? Well, you how about Shemiah was shy? He put his name on us that day. He, that was really established that day. He uh, he saved us out of the land of Egypt, man. That's why the Heavenly Father boasts about the deliverance out of the land of Egypt so much throughout the scriptures, man. Because that was the day that the Heavenly Father put his name on us, man. All right? We, we belong to the Heavenly Father. All right? Verse 21. But I had pity for my holy name which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whether they went, whether I scattered them, they profaned my name. Why? By following in the ways of the heathen, man. They profaned themselves before the heathen, which was a similitude of them profaning my name, man, because I put my name on them, okay? They disrespected me by, by, by doing the things that I told them not to do amongst the heathen, man. The same thing as if you know, when you send your child to school and they act a damn fool at school. 
and then you have to get called up and you got to pull up and you got to correct your child, man. And you be mad as hell. Why? Because your name is on your child, man. That's the same thing with the Heavenly Father in the nation of Israel. All right. There's no difference. Verse 22. Therefore, I, therefore I say unto the house of Israel, thus said the Yahweh power, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whether ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the how of thy power, when I shall be sanctified in, in you before their eyes. All right. He gonna be high. How we how they gonna know? All right, that that the heavenly Father is is truly with us, man. And they gonna see us in them glorified states. They gonna see the type of level Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is gonna put us on, man. When he's when he wait, wait when the heavenly Father and the Son is good and ready to put us on that level, man. The heathen gonna know that we the sons of God, man. Verse twenty four, for I will take you from among the heathen. And gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. All right? Hey, how about you, Mount Shah is going to bring us into our land, man? That goes to show you that the motherfuckers over there in the, in the land of Israel today, which is the Holy Land, ain't the true children of Israel, man. Them niggas coming in on flights and shit via plane, talking about raising flags and shit. Old ass crackers talking about, we're back in our Holy Land. No, nigga. Them gutter rats going to get up out of that bitch by the way of via nuclear destruction, man. The Heavenly Father says right here that he going to take us out of all the countries where we've been scattered and put us back in our land, man. Not by no damn commercial airline flight. Verse 25. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean, all right? From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you, man. That's not talking about actual water, man. It's talking about wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right? And we're going to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is the law, statutes, and commandments written into our inward parts, man, within those new bodies. Verse 26, a new heart also will I give you a new mind, all right? Just as it was said in Hebrews 8 chapter, just like in 1 Corinthians uh, 15 chapter, a new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart. All right. That stony heart represents the law, statutes, and commandments that we were given to by Moses. Out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. All right. That heart of flesh. There's going to be no new spiritual bodies. So those laws, and statutes, and commandments is going to be written into those new bodies, man. It's going to be new flesh. Un incorruptible flesh that can live forever, man. It's gonna go live. It's gonna live forever because we never gonna go off, man. Verse twenty-seven, and I will put my heart, my spirit, like it, within you, and cause you to walk in my statues, and you shall keep my judgments and do them, and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your power. I. I will also save you from all your uncleanness and I will call for the corn and will increase it and lay no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the increase of the field that ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen, man. Hey, that's, that's them Deuteronomy blessings, all right? <laughs> from uh, chapter 28 all the way down to 1 through 14, man. Okay? And you can go read up on that to get the edification on that, man. But I'm finna end it out on this next next precept because I know this has been pretty long. I know I've been going for a minute. This is uh second address verse five. Uh chapter uh, let's lock in. Second address chapter five and verse twenty-seven. And among all the multitudes of people. All right. This goes to show you that the Heavenly Father only loved the nation Israel. All right. And all these things that I've mentioned through the scriptures so far is only for the nation of Israel. Verse 27. 
and among all the multitudes of people that has gotten thee one people okay one people and unto this people whom thou lovest whom thou lovest the Lord loves the nation of Israel man even though we are we in the, de the, the reason that we're in we mean this uh, predicament because the Lord is currently whooping the nation of Israel's ass man all right and thou gavest a law thou gavest a law when did the Lord give this particular nation a law after he delivered them out of the, out of the land of Egypt and thou gavest a law that is approved of all man all right this law is above any law that any nation could even think of coming up with man all right but this particular laws statutes of the mammoths was given to a particular nation on the earth it was given to you so-called negroes latinos and native americans to follow these laws statutes and commandments that's written inside this holy bible man all right that's all i really had akio Lord willing, that was edifying with them. Give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to my elder apostle, where millstone, rule well, and teach well. Shalom to rescue brothers, pushing his true words, and do so in spirit by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom, on to the next one.